हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी से ठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट केंज कंजम्पन फंक्शन एंड कुजनेट कंजम्पन पजल इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड कुजनेट कंजम्पन पजल वी मस्ट नो अबाउट वट इज केंज कंजम्पन फंक्शन दैट्स वाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टॉक अबाउट वट इज केंज कंजम्पन फंक्शन एज वी नो वेन अवर इनकम इंक्रीज अवर कंजम्पन विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज According to Cage consumption function, after certain time period, increase in consumption will be less than increase in income. According to Cage consumption function, after certain time period, increase in consumption will be less than increase in income. But why after certain time period, increase in consumption will be less than increase in income? Because after certain time period, my all need will be satisfied. Now I have purchased a mobile, laptop, car, home. That's why if after certain time period my income will continuous increase, I will consume less and save more. देखो शुरू में जब मेरी जॉब लगेगी मेरे पास पैसे आएंगे तो पहले मैं लैपटॉप खरीदूंगी मोबाइल खरीदूंगी कार खरीदूंगी घर खरीदूंगी लेकिन आफ्टर सर्टन टाइम पीरियड इफ माय इनकम विल कंटिन्यूस इंक्रीज व्हाई शुड आई कंज्यूम मोर नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट सेविंग ना बिकॉज माय ओल्ड नीड्स हैड सेटिस्फाइड सो अकॉर्डिंग टू केंजियन कंजम्पशन फंक्शन आफ्टर सर्टन टाइम पीरियड इंक्रीज इन कंजम्पशन विल बी लेस देन इंक्रीज इन इनकम दैट्स व्हाई अकॉर्डिंग टू केंज एवरेज प्रोस्पेंसिटी to to consume will will fall as our income will increase. Now we'll see change consumption function. C equal to A plus B YD. C represent consumption function. A represent autonomous consumption. B represent MPC. MPC means marginal propensity to consume. And YD represent disposable income. डिस्पोजेबल इनकम मीन्स मनी अवेलेबल टू इंडिविजुअल फॉर कंजम्पन और सेविंग आफ्टर पेइंग हिज टैक्सेज Disposable income means money available to individual for consumption or saving after paying his old taxes, and uh, a B represent marginal propensity to consume, and marginal propensity to consume mainly tell us how much consumption increase due to increase in income. and a is autonomous consumption autonomous consumption means expenditure that individual have to make even his disposable income is zero for example we have to make expenditure on food even our income is zero we can use our past saving or can take loans for buying a food but we have to make expenditure on food even our disposable income is zero as we know according to kenj after certain time period increase in consumption will be less than increase in income if increase in consumption will less than increase in income then obviously our apc will fall as our income increase apc means average propensity to consume so we can say that according to kane our apc fall as our income increase second thing according to kane our mpc will less than apc MPC means marginal propensity to consume, which mainly tell us change in consumption due to change in income. APC is average propensity to consume, which mainly tell us how much part of our income we are consuming. According to Keynes, MPC will less than APC. But why Keynes consumption function is considered short time period consumption function? At short time period, we cannot change our autonomous consumption. Either our income increase or decrease. If we are not able to change our autonomous consumption, that's why we can say that our MPC will less than our APC according to Keynesian consumption function. Now we'll see diagram of Keynes consumption function. In this diagram on x-axis we have disposable income and y-axis we have consumption and saving. This OY line is our income line. and cc line shows our consumption function that is equal to a plus b yd as we earlier discussed so here you can see our consumption function start from this c point not from zero but why because our consumption include autonomous consumption as we know autonomous consumption are those expenditure which we have to make even our income is zero here you can see our income is zero still we are making oc expenditure that's why our consumption function start from this c point not from zero because our consumption include our autonomous expenditure which we have to make even our income is zero 
here you can see initially when someone got job and receive money his consumption will more than income because now he will fulfill his old desire na he will buy mobile laptop car home that's why initially you can see consumption is more than income consumption is k y1 and income is r y1 here you can see consumption is more than income but after certain time period if his income is continue increasing his consumption and income will become equal to each other but after certain time period still his income is increasing you can see consumption will become less than income here you can see consumption is r2 y2 but income is k2 y2 here, here you can see consumption is less than income because now his almost needs has satisfy he is he is consuming less and saving more now we are going to talk about kuznet consumption puzzle kain's consumption function was based on observation of kain means there is no empirical evidence of kain's consumption function is it true or not but simon kuznet did one study based on data between 1869 to 1933 and he came to conclusion at long time period apc remain constant and there is no tendency of apc to fall as our income increase according to simon kuznet study our apc remain constant and there is no tendency for apc to fall as our income increase and he calculated round of overall average value of apc that is equal to 0.9 and the 0.9 value was remain constant between the year of 1869 to 1933 so according to kenj uh, as our income increase apc 4 but according to simon kuznet study as our income increase our apc remain constant our apc do not fall according to kenj our apc fall because after certain time period our all needs will fulfill that's why we consume less and save more but if our apc don't fall that means we are continue consuming our consumption will not fall it remain constant sahi to hai human being ki desire kahan fulfill hoti hai aaj hamare paas kam paise hain to choti car lekin jaise zyada aayenge to hum badi car lenge aaj chhota ghar hai zyada paise aayenge to hum bada ghar lenge means hamari needs badhti rehti hai wo to kam nahi hoti hai to isliye simon kuznet is more correct as compared to kenj our apc remain constant as our income increase it doesn't fall now we'll say difference between kenj consumption function and kuznet consumption function kenj consumption function is equal to a plus b y d a autonomous consumption b marginal propensity to consume y d is our income or we can the disposable income kuznet consumption function equal to b y d kuznet do not include autonomous consumption according to kuznet when income zero consumption also zero that's why kuznet do not include any autonomous consumption so kuznet consumption function is equal to b y d according to kenj apc is more than mpc because autonomous consumption do not change at short time period and uh, kuznet do not include uh, autonomous consumption that's why according to kuznet apc is equal to mpc because apc converges uh, mpc and become equal to each other and uh, uh, kenj include autonomous consumption kuznet do not include any autonomous consumption so men economists consider kenj consumption function as a short time period consumption function and consider kuznet consumption function as a long run consumption function now we'll see diagram of uh, kuznet uh, consumption function in this diagram on x axis we have disposable income and y axis we have consumption function this is income line and this is consumption function that is equal to b y d here you can see consumption curve start from zero because kuznet do not include autonomous expenditure that means when income zero consumption also zero so consumption function start from zero and this consumption function shows our apc remain constant it doesn't fall as our income increase and contradiction between kuznet empirical finding and kenj observation will be called consumption function puzzle and this conflict is resolved by so many economists by saying kenj consumption function is short time period consumption function and kuznet consumption function is long time period consumption function so this is all about kenj consumption function and kuznet consumption function puzzle i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care